Hey, back in the live arena. Let's go. Did I, uh, I muted the game. <laughs> you don't really want to play when it's in the background. All right. I'm glad I was able to squeeze this in. I went to work, did a job, and then came back because I was five minutes away from home. <laughs> I was fortunate. And now I'm back. Back, uh, back home for an hour and then going back to work. Sorry, though. I'm making great money. No complaints. Um... I don't really want to start today with the RN's pick first. She's just like never bad. Harima and Georgia, okay. So that's two supports already. Okay. So we could ban the Warlord and then probably just blast him, right? Pretty easily. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Oh, this is not right. Mm. <laughs> oh, we just got a gamble, right? I didn't pick very well. I definitely think I lost this. Um, it should not have been, those last two picks should not have been those last two picks. I should not have tried to go, like, compete in speed. Although my Armand's is faster than before he's over 300 now. He's, but yeah, he's probably still not fast enough. I shouldn't have tried to compete in speed. I should have just, uh... Let's see. I don't really care about that guy. Okay. I should have just built a tanky team and beat him. Let him keep the lock out. Because we already had a Rima. That was, yeah, totally deserved loss. <clears throat> totally deserved loss. We already had the Harima in UDK versus Georgian. He has no Reviver, so... There's one here. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, this also would have been better to have, like, picked Wukong here, too. Okay, no, sh no sheep on the Armands. Yeah, that was totally a mistake. That was like a pretty easy win otherwise. Bad the uh, Arbods, he has an insanely squishy team. We picked already UDK, I, this is my first match of the day, I totally threw it. We, we already had Harima and UDK. And then we had already picked Yumiko. She would have been what he banned. So then I should have picked like Duchess, <clears throat> I should have picked like Duchess and Withier or something, or or Mithrala, and it's just like free, right? He probably can't even put Duchess and Mithrala's abilities on cooldown. He probably can't even do it. Pick. 
pick her as the man bait. He, he might have been able to put Duchess's abilities on Gulden, but he would not have been able to put Mithralis, and then the Mithrala just kind of rips through. <laughs> With here? Or... Or even UDK, because uh, that plus, yeah, this is, I like this. <laughs> He'll stuff her single target nuke. Sure, buddy. <laughs> the triple reaction double stone skin UDK and people pick Georgia against it. It's like if I had just picked correctly, it's <laughs> these fights are so easy. Plus I I have I already have Harima. Like good luck, man. And I've got the 80 resist aura. He's going to try and strip these buffs. All right. Good luck. Let's see her tickle. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. I can kill them both now, but Wukong's just going to pop back up. That's why we'll pick Wukong here. Full resist. So unless one A1 can kill him. Oh, he doesn't understand. Okay, gotta try to stun me. Fear him. That's what I'm saying, dude. Actually, this go second thing I started doing last video is better than I realized. I was just doing it just to force myself to do it, but a lot of people just pick these super, super squishy teams, and if they don't instantly beat you, they just lose. It's really funny, actually. <laughs> they just, like, insta-lose. <laughs> or they feel... A lot of people feel forced to do the speed meta because of, um... Because of Armons, but... This guy ends up starting with, I remember this guy, he starts with these and then goes like a speed team. And maybe he's switched it up since, but that's what he did last time I played him. Picks like, I mean, I guess he's, you know, level 91. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. Okay, this team's very slow. Do I want to go... What do I want to do? Wukong? Yeah, let's do that. We can ban Marishka or Duchess.
Yeah, he didn't pick Armand's last time either. I don't know if he didn't do the event or something. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, this is the second time I fought this guy, maybe third, and he did not pick Armand's over. Did he? I mean, Armand's was a fusion. Did he really miss it? That would be insane. I wonder what the percentage of players above like level 70 that didn't do Armand's is. It's gotta be like less than 5%, I feel like. So broken. What? Wait, what? Oh, she counterattacked. That was her passive. Weird. Because of the fear. Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. Charles is still locked out anyway. Yeah, it's weird. He picks, like, those slow champions. I guess he didn't really pick a speed team this time. You did a speed threat, though. You can't just pick slow, 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 and then not ever threaten to go first. You can't. You just can't do that. I have been picking her a lot lately. Let's, um... There's not a lot of great first picks that I own. Um... Just, just to get the, you know, the champion that he's probably going to ban out of the way. I guess I'll do that. I haven't picked a lot of Sulfurion lately. I might pick him again soon. He's not that great, depending on what they're running. Okay. So now she has a chance to resist and the chance to be weak hit. If he's going to try and do the Kaimar strip thing. <laughs> he's pick one more nuker. Perfect. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I probably could have put the resist aura too. That might have been better just to make sure the Kamar can't strip. I don't think he can anyway, but if I lose, then lesson learned. If I lose, lesson learned. Mistakes were made. <clears throat> That's fine. I have my revive. I don't know why you would even do that. You think this Teltus is gonna kill here? I, I don't think he can. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah. You're wasted. Don't be silly, brother. Actually, could just out tank people in the current meta. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not in gold, so not the best builds for sure. <laughs> They're gonna straight up win by themselves.
<laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> dude, man, my account is actually more suited to still not doing speed. It's actually really interesting. I would have won like every fight today if I just stopped trying to race because I just don't have an account built to race. I have a lot of great counters that people are trying to go fast. I might want to pick Sulfuria on here, so I think we'll hold off. We'll go with an early Wukong pick. He's pretty good, usually. Mesomel and Georgia. Okay. I think UDK is pretty good there. Probably just banning Armands. See if he's Vermont to be what the frick? Okay. See if his Romantu can strip anyone. Oh, wow. So yeah, her passive got disabled. And then he probably procced his thing because he one-shot my 115,000 HP Duchess with the AoE, not with... Obviously, the single target knew could do that, but the AoE, I think he had... So he procced... Helm Smasher and his passive. Okay. I would run it back and try the same team. I might still lose, but I would be interested to see. Yeah, the AoE doesn't uh, doesn't normally hit that hard, I don't think. He had to have ignored full defense. And then, I don't know, my Harima never sheeps anyone. I mean, she's running like 250, 270 accuracy or something. She never sheeps anyone with the polymorph. My, and my Duchess with the 80 resistance got stripped by his Ramantu. Huh. So she had 740 resistance in that instance? So he would have needed like 600 accuracy on that Ramantu to reliably do it. Anything less than that is like, no, no. He would have needed like 650, 700 to have reliably done it there. And anything less than that was just pure luck. What is happening right now? I mean, honestly, I think I should just be faster than this guy. Like, what is he even doing?
I can do both, yeah. This bats his biggest speed aura, gets rid of his increased attack, which is for two champions. Against master champion, he's picking it. Okay. I could I could do like Arbiter him. usually do well when I pick my Arbiter unless I know I'm going first and they've like picked it's like the last pick or something <laughs> I don't really know what an instant turn is going to do on anyone here fine. He banned the Rodos. What the frick? I don't see a Wukong Harima winning just because I'm locked out for two turns. Like, I just don't, I don't, I just don't think that's gonna happen. I, I just will literally be in stone skin the whole time. <clears throat> and I don't think Shuzan is gonna strip it. I don't know if that was supposed to be it. Was that supposed to strip my buffs? It didn't strip anyone. Yeah, she's got like no accuracy. That was a mistake. Killed him at a bad time. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was... okay. So now he has no cooldowns and thinks he's gonna kill my Duchess. the lockout. I guess so. Anyway. <laughs> He's just getting like six turns. Even though he came back with full turn meter. Darn. I feel like I could win that. Knowing what he was going to do now pretty easily. Just committing to full speed team, just like throw a Torment in there, and then instead of like Armands or Yumiko, one of them is just Torment, and I think it's just over. I did rebuild him, I might be picking him here. He resist. Very similar team to what the guy just played. He has no reviver. He's not gonna lock out two of my champions, most likely. Three. Didn't steal any buffs. Yeah. I don't know if he didn't realize what happened. He didn't lock anyone out. I don't think he realized. Yeah. Didn't strip any buffs. I have a revive. Strengthen. Shield. Yeah, just going second. People are pretty predictable. It's not that hard. Things provoked. Okay. Yeah. 
I think too many people have been convinced by this meta to start playing one way, and everyone's forcing it, myself included. I was in this, and I don't think it fits everyone's accounts. Uh, I think a lot of people are forcing it when they don't need to be forcing it. So he's definitely going for a speed team. Let's do that. So we can do with, deal with bombs and we can deal with, you know, ignore defense nukers. And I could run Valk as well. It's tricky. Okay, so this is probably the ban. Weird picks, bro. Take the A to resist. Very strange stuff. <laughs> Wait, what the frick? Still no freezes, huh? Brother, do you know how Torment works? We even brought out Pythion today too. This is the last fight. Let's do. Uh, if I pick Sophia, I'm gonna try and pick him. If I pick him too, what's the best to support with him, Mithrala? If I pick him too early, they're gonna pick like Sophia Clemsy buffs. Let's go. Okay, Sophirion plus. my own I pick her okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mormon next try it out again and then last pick is going to be Harima What's his last pick?
<laughs> Take the resist for these two. Did he ban Torment or did he ban Yumiko? He banned Torment, okay. He's really preying on the strip here. Wow. Jeez. Three out of four, and he only couldn't strip her because he can't strip her. <laughs> That's insane. If I picked Wukong, I would have got block revived. I'm gonna win. Six and four. It's crazy. Like, I have five star polymorphs, five star polymorph, three pieces of stone skin, which are at best of 50 50. He stripped all of them, debuffed all of them. Didn't get polymorphed. I've had I've had like several losses like that today. That's so the like, same thing or similar thing happened here, right? He stripped the Duchess who had 750 resistance. There's no way that was like a 97%. That at best that was like a 50-50. There's just no way. Because he would have needed 600 plus resistance or accuracy to even have over a 90 to even have anywhere near 90 percent no no no. at 600 accuracy i have 97 percent chance to resist so i mean even if he has like 650 i don't know exactly what the numbers are but that, that's just like so unlikely that Duchess gets stripped there. But that's what happened. And then obviously, again, I had I had three polymorphs. No, two polymorphs didn't happen. Uh, although I don't think she she could have polymorphed him. He didn't get stripped. So no, it was still one polymorph check. And then very low chance that he got that off. And here was total, total stupidity on my part. Totally my fault. And yeah, I don't know. See, like usually when I do force the speed stuff, if I'm just picking my best speed stuff instead of being intelligent at what I'm picking, it's pretty easy for me to lose. That's why I don't often do it. Um, I got 15. I was going to do five more, but I literally don't have time. Yeah, unfortunate. All right, guys. You know, I uh, overall, honestly, not that bad. Uh, we had some, I, th I think, fights that I was definitely favored in that I lost, which is unfortunate. It's frustrating. It is. But, you know, frustration is an emotion. And, you know, ultimately, we can control that. The game it can be fun. You know, I know a lot of times it's not very fun when you're losing. That's the same with most games, though. But just, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad and don't let the frustration overwhelm you and you can still enjoy the game. Um, I'm not happy with how this went. I'm not satisfied and I want to do better. But a lot, of, a lot of times, like, this fight and the first, like, the first fight that I lost and the last fight here, I, mean, I just didn't pick very well. And so, even though that was unlikely, I could have been way more likely to win, right? I could have been running the Duchess in here as well, which was would have been really, really high chance to not get stripped, uh, if even possible, for his Ramatsu. I mean, again, right? 
even if he's running an accuracy chest, an accuracy banner, and like all perception, it'd be unlikely to see over 650. And so then if I'm running the same team, and instead of picking Sulfurian, which I did just for fun to try him out, uh, instead of picking him, if I pick Duchess, then she's running at 750 resists. And he, he has, even at like 650, he has a very low chance to strip her stone skin or to debuff her at all. And then we just get a revive, right? It's like, this fight we're kind of experimenting. This fight I was like, waking up <laughs> kind of troll myself but yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys hopefully you learned something hopefully you enjoyed god bless guys god loves y'all take care all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed and we'll continue to follow along join the community subscribe and and be a part of the future videos i just wanted to quickly share uh where i find content where i find joy where i find hope in these crazy times we live in so much going on in the world so much bad news and so many just things to bring you down. And I just wanted to share that I am a Christian and I fully believe, as silly as it may sound to some people, that there is a God that made us all with purpose. And although we all chose to go our own way, myself included, and, and, and to just reject this God, reject this creator, that that broke his heart, that he didn't want us to be separated, and that he sent Jesus to die for our sins and to make us new, to make a way for us to be reconciled as a payment for our sin, as a payment for the punishment that we deserve, that Jesus died. And now we can be reconciled to God. And not only can we be made right with God and have the promise of heaven, but this this life is also filled with purpose as we're able to know him and find joy and contentment through the through the relationship with God, that we can invite others and we can make a lasting eternal impact on others by sharing this truth and inviting them to know him. And I would just love to tell you guys more if you have any questions, but I just want you to know that God loves you, whoever you are, whatever you've done, nothing has disqualified you from his love, that he genuinely cares for you more than you would ever know and i've experienced that love and it is just it's it's done so much for me in my life and i want that to happen for you guys so uh thank you guys so much let me know if you have any questions i hope you guys are here and gonna join the community no matter what you think or who you are or what you believe guys god loves you i love you god bless guys